25th. Hey everyone. Okay, here we are with the Nikan Women Creating Wealth Call. Thank you so much everybody for being on. I do realize that many of you are um, going to be traveling today to Orlando and we're excited to see you there. I'm very excited um, about our trip. Uh, let me just see if I can, uh, some people we've got, uh, I'm going to just try and clear some of the empty spaces there. Super. All right. So um, this call is on social media, which is hilarious because as you know, I was a neo Luddite for years and never wanted to use computers and, you know, was really dead against it, part, mainly because of the Wi-Fi. I was not interested in that. But of course, it's become a part of our culture so much. And so this call is going to be on social media. And I'll, I'll ask some of you to, to join in with me. Um, Heather Abbott was going to be with us on this call because Heather is one of the most um, adept at social media. But unfortunately, she is traveling today um, to, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna move out that, um, to, to Orlando, so she could be on. So she gave me a few tips, which uh, I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna um, mention some other things that some other people have, that I've been studying with, Eric Warre and others have said, also some of my own experience, and then I'll open it up. So, um, we apologize that she's not with us, but here's some of the things that, uh, that Heather says, it says super important. Um, so some simple rules that she uses all the time. Number one is identify your target audience. For example, she speaks for herself. I want to work with strong, brilliant, savvy women entrepreneurs. I don't care about their age. And this helps me create content to reach my audience. So, um, you know, target audience, it's pretty obvious, of course, but who, who do you really want to speak to? And, uh, and then a lot of it is about creating content, as we know. So um, I'm just going to take these up. So then number two is have fun. Well, you know, I'm all about that. I, I, I mean, if, if we're not having fun doing business, why, you know, why do it? So I, th I think it's really fun. I'm, I'm having more and more fun with social media these days. So I really agree with her on this point. You know, have fun and keep it candid. Uh, keep it real. Keep it authentic. And if, if you're having fun, your audience will be having fun too, we hope. So that makes a lot of sense. And, and you'll see that as you go through yourself. You'll see that you'll be attracted to, to those people that are really, really having fun there. Number three, um, use the 80-20 rule. We talk about the 80-20 rule a lot in network marketing, don't we? Because we always say, you know, that out of your whole organization, it's usually about 20% of the people that are going to do 80% of the work and 80% of the people will do 20% of the work. So um, we, we, we do use that, but in this, um, in this uh, referral here, it's only about 20% of your content in a week should be selling something. The remaining 80% should be more about your lifestyle and who you are uh, or curated content. So too much selling and folks will tune you up. And absolutely, that's a big mistake that a lot of people make in, in a lot of businesses on social media, but also in network marketing specifically. Marianne, can you um, move your hand away? From, yeah, just move your hand in a different place. That'd be great. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, so I think that's a terribly, terribly, terribly important one. Is like, you know, really, who are you? And we'll talk a little more about that, the branding in a minute. Um, lastly, she says, take a good look at what you're posting. Is it interesting? Or would it catch your eye on your timeline or would you scroll past? So, so this is uh, really important. Um, be creative and innovative here. Um, so I think that's really critical too. And um, uh, let's see, if you don't love it, no one else will. If you don't love it, no one else will. So are you loving what you're up to? These are the basic guidelines. And then she says, uh, one more, stay engaged and interact with your audience. Ask questions and respond to the answers. That come so that's a big one and that takes time doesn't it that you know we, we know that takes time but time is valuable so those are a few things from from Heather now Eric Warre who many of you study with and I do too has done a course on social media mastery and I'm really gonna recommend it to you uh, that you get that course and uh, you know I have two whole huge books here filled with with notes that I've taken both from him and from Miguel Casas, who's one of our Nikon consultants, who some of us have worked with very closely. So that, you know, he, he's a great person. His course was called, is called Navigating Online 
marketing, navigating online marketing. That's with Miguel. And Miguel knows a lot about online marketing. And I have found his work invaluable. But, uh, but also Eric Worre, because Eric knows a lot more about the network marketing side of things, being, being in network marketing for many years. So he, I'm just going to mention a few things that he speaks of. He says, you know, firstly, what do we do? We sell products or services to customers. Uh, we do it in three ways. Uh, we personally sell. We grow and expand a network of distributors doing the same thing. That's number two. And the third thing we do is improve the productivity of that network. And of course, if you want to make a lot of money in network marketing, um, you, you won't be just doing personal selling, right? That's not where we make our money. We make our money through growing and expanding our network and improving the productivity of the network. So um, that's a lot why we do calls like this. And so, you know, it's like so important. And why social media? Because habits have changed. And communication, now it's all there. People are looking there for the news, the entertainment and everything. Uh, connection, thousands of friends. I mean, I just reached the 5,000 friend limit on Facebook. And to be honest, I've, I've constantly culled it. I mean, I've taken it back down so that I can, I can actually invite other friends in that I want to have it. So um, um, the statistics are phenomenal. 2.34 billion people are globally connected through social networks. Facebook is the King Kong at 1.7 billion. Uh, YouTube is over a billion, and it's the most watched video platform on earth, including all TV channels. It's pretty amazing. So we do a lot on YouTube, don't we? We do. We put these on YouTube. We you create a YouTube channel. We're going to talk a lot about that. Uh, Instagram over 500 million. Twitter over 300 million. Pinterest over 100 million. Snapchat is skyrocketing, and uh, everyone is using them. Millennials, every age group, and uh, actually the 65 plus is uh, the fastest growing group on all of the social media platforms. Um, there are four agreements he speaks of. It's all become, it's become part of our culture. It's here to stay and it's going to accelerate. It's going to become more interactive and it's going to become more technologically savvy. So, you know, it's like, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. We got, we, we got to be, we got to be there and entrepreneurs do adapt. And so we, we work at adapting and then progress is perfection. The, first, the main thing I'm going to say from his voluminous notes that I've taken is that um, how to build your social media brand is it's all about you. It's about you. Don't replicate. Dare to be unique. You've got to be unique. Be interesting. Brand yourself out loud. Uh, feature your lifestyle, not what you do. Very, very important. And what are you known for? What do you want to be known for? What are you known for? What do you stand for? What are you against? What are your passions? What do you believe in? What are your interests? And what really drives you? And I think this is so, so important. And we all have to, you know, we work to develop this and groom it until it's really vibrant. And we're looking at what, what attracts people to us, right? We're looking at how many, how many views. So I'm doing, so I'm gonna speak about myself a little bit. I'm doing a lot more short videos, super short. They use you a minute or less. Um, I do a lot on nature because people love nature. I love nature. It's a big part of who I am. It's a big part of why I do Nikian. And so I do a lot about nature and it attracts tremendous uh, interest. And then the, the, uh, and then I'll look at how many. And then, you know, the other day I did one on my grandchild on a swing, just giggling like crazy on a swing. And there were over 700 views within two days and a lot of comments because it was joy. Because people want happiness. I want happiness. You want happiness. And it was just the joy of seeing a little girl kicking her legs and just screaming at the top of her lungs because she was being you know, swung on a huge, great swing. And we all know that feeling. So bringing joy. Um, the other one I've really been working on is personal fitness uh, training. I do a lot of personal fitness. I always have. I've always, as a ballet dancer, been into that. And so I'm doing more videos on the fit tech. Uh, that I do and the Pilates that I do and then gently gently mentioning Nikan in there, but like super subtle You know, I'm, I'm ready to, to ready to go on that 20, uh, you know, not 20 mile hike But you know 10, 10 mile hike, you know with my power band and my insoles uh, in my shoes You know just subtle but not not out loud just like that's the undercurrent But this is the lifestyle that the Nikan technologies give me that I'm fit that I don't hurt that I can do all these things that um, you know 
that, that they can see the, the ability of the body, the flexibility and so forth. And then I just say something like, you know, the 60s were never better or something. I never felt great, better in my life, something like that. And people are amazed. They're like, you're, you're, you're in your 60s? I can't believe it. You know, I thought you were 45 or something. And that's because of the Nikon technologies, you know. And I used to always just say, oh, thanks. But now I say, this is because of the Nikon technologies. It's the sleep system and the water and everything that I've been using for 23 years. So it's not an accident uh, that you look great, right? It's not an accident. It's the Nikon Technologies and a good diet and exercise program. So these are some of the places I've been working on is the video because people will go to video much faster. They like it better than photographs, but it has to be engaging and it has to get their attention. So you in movement, you know, laughing or showing something, it's got to like, it's got to jump out at them because everybody's busy and who has time to scroll for hours on the homepage? I, I don't do that. And I suggest you don't either. I go in to social media on purpose, with a purpose, just like I do my Nikon business every day on purpose. Who am I going to talk to today? Who's the new person I'm going to be with today? You know, and that's how I conduct my life because I want this to be a huge success in my life for me and others. So when it comes to social media, I don't go in there to check out what everybody else is doing. I go in there on purpose to put what I choose to put on social media. So you have to be very, very disciplined. Otherwise, your days are just going to disappear and you're going to go, where are my days going? Why haven't I read a book in a year? It's because you're spending hours on social media and it just, it's just not going to be making you money if we just put it in that blank term. So um, now the, the, the caveat around that is that the more we all interact, the better it goes. The more we all interact, the better it goes. And Miguel was really strong on this about interaction, interaction between us. The, we create a force field like we do on these calls that is very, 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 very important. These calls then we can share with others, right? We share these and we should be sharing them a lot with individuals as well as on our Facebook pages. But not just these calls. We're sharing each other's things that we like. And, you know, Barbara here, you know, I love her, all her artwork. And, um, oh, and that's another thing she and I have in common is self-expression and creativity. She does a lot of her photographs and I do a lot of photographs and painting that I'm doing. And we share and we like and we comment, and when we do that, we get more like other people like, oh, who are your friends and who are your friends? And maybe I'll be your friend. And, and we get more and more people finding out about our Nikan tribe because our job is to attract, right? Our job is to attract, not to push Nikan on people, but to attract them by the kind of lives that we live. So make sure that you are looking specifically, not scrolling on the homepage for hours, but going to people you know in the business, going to Randy Rolf's page, say, hey, What's Randy doing? And, and liking and sharing what she does, right? Marion, Marion Tim's been doing great work right now, which she's just doing Facebook Lives, you know, about coming to Orlando. And um, so like it and share it, you know, and, and make sure that your, your things can be shared. Make sure you have the settings so that they can be shared. And we want that interaction between ourselves and then more and more with new people coming in. And this is what makes the buzz occur and and as we know we've got the best products in the entire world with the new um plan comp plan changes and the packs coming in august i am so excited because now i know with the queue gone and the packs in and we can make a fortune but again it's up to us and we have to and we have to really make that buzz happen we have to make that buzz happen that's that's our job we are the marketers niken pays us very well to market so that's, that's what we need to do. And social media is a brilliant place, not the only place. Personal, personal interaction is critical. I still feel like, you know, rollouts <clears throat> and lending product and showing people the products and doing the mag duo and getting results is all very pertinent. Strength tests, lemon tests, everything we do, ice melting tests, we have to do all that. That is the way we teach people about Nikan. But social media is a brilliant way to get their interest, garner people's interest. So, and it's fun. And it should be fun. So really be thinking about your brand. What are, what are you known for? What do you stand for? What are you against? I'm not big about that one. I don't like having arguments on Facebook. I don't put politics. I don't do religion. People know I'm a spiritual person, but I, I really don't do a lot of, I never do politics. You can kill your, your personal page, your business page, if you start doing politics. Everybody's got their opinions. Let's leave it out of the social media place. It's not for us, for our business. 
So I use social media for business. Personal page is your first most important place. Start with Facebook, start with your personal page, then build a business page there so that you really do a lot more of your, you will see my Quantum Leap business page is a lot more about Nikan and network marketing and women and entrepreneurs and stuff. And occasionally they go to my personal as well, sometimes, but not all the time. Now, because that's really, really business focused. Um, and then, you know, for me, I have my poetry page, which is my, my book, my Songs of Gaia book. Um, and again, creativity, people love creativity. They want to be creative. They often feel they can't be creative. So if you do something similar, like I do Julie's creative play, uh, people can see you can play, you can muck around, you can have fun, you can be three years old again, and, and you don't have to be some brilliant painter, you know, to paint. You don't have to be some brilliant dancer to dance. You don't have to be some brilliant musician to knock something out on the piano, right? It's, so this is super important that you make yourself accessible and all your foibles too. You know, I'm great at this, I'm terrible at that. Whoops, I made a mistake. I did something on sensitivity the other day. A lot of people commented about that, about that post on sensitivity. Was sharing another post, right? And then saying, you know, I, this is what I always got told in school. She's really smart, too bad she's so sensitive. What are you going to do with it? And then people commented and then it's like commenting back and saying, yeah, you know, yeah, I hear you. This is painful. And, and we have to kind of uh, find our way to deal with it. So, so these are some of um, the, the critical things. Now there's a lot more, as I say, this whole book here is filled infographics. Video is key. Video is key. Facebook live. Um, uh, savvy, <clears throat> the savvy entrepreneur, authenticity, transparency, um, consistency, being consistent, uh, daily if you can, or at least a, you know a few times a week. Being patient, let it for, let it grow. Adaptability, um, moving with adaptability from page to fan page. Um, stay within your platform guidelines, so don't uh, otherwise you lose privileges. So you don't want to like spam people with with a video about your your business. The one I did on uh, bioenergetics, I sent to a lot of people individually because I felt it was a really important one that I'd made. And then Facebook was like, we're not sure what you're doing. You're, you're, you're sending it to too many people at once. And so you'll get those little warnings and just, you want to be careful. Like, Oh, you know, t take it back a step, you know, do 10 a day or whatever, but not, not such a blast. Um, keep expanding your base, seeking out other thought leaders in, in your brand, not network marketers. Um, and I have my own rule about that, by the way, just so you know, and, and you might think it's a very um, hard rule, and it is, but it is my rule because uh, it is my business. I do not have friends that are in other network marketing companies. Um, on, you know, and if people leave me, Ken, I, I am sorry to say, but I do unfriend them because I don't want them uh, going into my friend list, which I would not even know because they can personal message them and telling them, you know, do this instead of that. So I am very, very firm on that. Uh, if you leave, I love you, and but we're not friends on Facebook anymore or Instagram or anything like that. And that's, um, other people do it differently. You know, I see some people stay friends with a lot of people that, you know, have gone into three or four other companies. And, you know, I'm, I just, for me, it's confusing. I don't want my friends to be confused. I don't want to be confused. So I keep things super clean and clear on that. Um, um, what other big thing? And then I'm going to ask you guys to jump in here. Um, <clears throat> so one of the, you know, natural health is one big one for all of us, of course. Women leadership is a big one. Some of the ones for me are those natural health has been my whole life. Women leaders, nature, spirituality, um, but not so much religion. Uh, freedom, free spirit, entrepreneurship. These are notes I've made, you know, uh, perhaps women entrepreneurs rather than women leaders. I question myself, what shall I do? He says, pick three to five things you're really passionate about. Self-expression through the arts, art, music, dance, poetry. These are things I love. So um, <clears throat> the ones I picked uh, was number one was spirituality and personal growth. Um, number two is creativity in life. This is for social media per se. Um, natural health and nature and the universe. <clears throat> and women, yeah, entrepreneurs. It was kind of hard actually. To, to, to get it really right down to a, a nut. So I have five main ones, spirituality, creativity, nature, natural health, and women entrepreneurs. Uh, because women are growing, and, and that is a, a huge part of our market, and in Nikan, we're 80% women. So I want to appeal to the women. I want to see women grow. I want to see women making fortunes. Uh, we've made fortunes. Why not help other women make fortunes? It's kind of fun to do that. 
So um, let's ask, I'm going to ask uh, Randy Rolf first. Randy, you have been super great on social media. Um, to tell us just a little bit your key points, what you've learned from everything you've been studying. Can you unmute? Yeah. Sure, yes. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it and been learning a lot over the last two years. I do a regular video that's on vibrant health through natural living, which has been my my motto forever so i i did that every day for about a year and then i've switched to weekly because i wasn't attracting enough people to make it worthwhile the time so i still do it weekly so i'm on number 227 i did this morning and um, there are three minute uh, bits about natural health and uh, creating healthy families and that is my passion creating healthy families and Nikon's the ultimate uh, way to do that. And so I certainly uh, do less than 10% promoting directly uh, my business and my books. Um, but right now I'm doing more with uh, advertising, starting to do more advertising for my books. Uh, and then I'm, I'm planning on learning, learning the ropes through my advertising parenting and then I'm going to apply that to Nikon very shortly but I wanted to learn the ropes make all my mistakes around my books instead of around Nikon um, but it, it's uh, I do the same thing as you I don't have um, I don't have other network marketing people on my lists and uh, I'm all about creating uh, building from the inside out from core group of people and uh, really, I don't have time to put on anything I'm not totally passionate about, so I don't have any trouble focusing on that and um, liking things, commenting on things, and trying to um, increase my presence of what really defines why I'm here. And so that, that's working well. And uh, so, yeah, everything you said was right on. You've done such a great job with it, Randy. It's just fantastic. I, I'm so proud of you. Um, you really, really have. And you took on video faster, I think, than probably any of us, uh, making short videos and, and uh, so. Well, I've done so much in TV and everything. It just seemed like such a natural thing to just move right into the video. So I record things on Zoom, and then I upload, upload them to YouTube, and then from there, you just take the you just copy the little address and put it anywhere you want. And Facebook is very quick. You just plug that into the Facebook, um, and then the link comes right up. And uh, usually, there your little picture is there and everything. So you can put it anywhere: Instagram or LinkedIn, or uh, or have a YouTube channel that you send people to. So. And uh, I've done that. I have YouTube channels where I put up my favorite uh, five minute or less videos about Nikan, and I can send people to that too. Yes. And uh, longer videos as well. And non Nikan videos. I just posted an amazing article about the gig economy uh, on my Facebook page. And so anything that I think is really uplifting and uh, forward looking, I don't. Yes. I don't like or share a lot of negative stuff. Um, That's right. Or, or exactly. satire. I don't go there. Uh, it's always about uplifting people. They have enough nasty stuff coming in without me contributing. So it's always something that um, gives people hope and healing and um, uplift. That's great, Randy. I, that's such a good point. I think it's so important. And um, by the way, guys, I have my windows being cleaned today, so that's what's going on behind me. So yeah, we see that. <laughs> yeah, I know these guys. Like, who are they? But they're two wonderful men, and uh, we already talked about the circus in Mexico. But anyway, it's all good. So let's uh, thank you, Randy. Let's go to Barbara. Barbara Joseph, you've been doing a lot, and you and I have studied nice, nice. well quite a bit. So let's uh, hear hear from you. How do you do things? Well, first off, very similar to you and Randy, where it's always uplifting and inspiring. Absolutely no politics or religion and things of that sort. I have not been active in about a month, and it's really different. Um, I've just been really focused on some personal things, and um, I want to get back in that flow. Because when you've got a rhythm going, it's really easy and it's really fun. And um, I did find in the past, I would post 
educational things and people would comment and I'd have lots of likes. But when I got into every day posting something about Niken, sometimes just taking a link from Niken Corporate, that I wasn't getting that feedback, which was the 2080 message of not spending so much time uh, promoting it that way, but promoting again the lifestyle, like look what I can do. I can stay in my house every day without any injuries. You know, first about house, but then I can include, you know, maybe once about I use products, and these are what help me sustain the energy and the flexibility to do it. So it's really learning. And you know, if you make a mistake, it doesn't matter because you can always start again. And everybody's very forgiving. And when you post those wedding pictures or uh, garden pictures, everybody's like, "Oh, wow!" And then you can get back to the occasional um, how I am supported in this by what I do. And like Randy, I've put on some articles about network marketing, the gig economy, um, what baby boomers are looking for in terms of an extra income. And it's very interesting. And again, I get comments back. And it's how to um, go back in and comment back on the comments and appreciate the people for their likes, not just kind of, oh, good, and going on, but actually being engaged in it, that makes a really big difference as well. It really does. It, that is a very huge piece of it, is the engagement. <clears throat> Just, I put, I put something on microwaves the other day and, and on my concern about Wi-Fi and so forth, and somebody commented and, and refuted something I said about how Wi-Fi, uh, excuse me, how microwaves change molecular structure. And they said, no, it doesn't. And I had responded to everybody else. I was like, now, how do I deal with this? You know, because I don't want to have an argument on uh, Facebook about whether it does or doesn't. So I just thanked him for his comment. And then I went back and found some, uh, some really powerful videos about how microwaves change the molecular structure of your food. And then I posted them separately. And that's how I dealt with it. So you can have different ways, but um, you know, I, I was like, shall I ignore it? I don't think that's very helpful. Yeah. So I'm gonna respond to it. And I know he's trying to be helpful too. Um, although he's saying I'm wrong about what I just said. So, you know, it was a tricky one. And I, um, mm -hmm. so I see people sometimes argue a lot on Facebook, especially with politics. And so I'm just not doing that. That's not why I want to be there. It's not what I want to do. Um, but I agree that the commenting on the comments is super important. I'm much more engaged with that now than I ever was before. And I know you are. And a lot of that was from our learning from Miguel. So we, we got some great value with Miguel. Mm -hmm. um, Marianne Timms, you're doing some really great stuff with Facebook Live, which is something I haven't started yet, but will. And so tell us, uh, and you've done some great videos as well. Tell us what you're up to before we uh, finish today. Um, it's all about attraction marketing, isn't it? It's people wanting what you've got. Um, and obviously it's starting to work because a 40 something year old commented on one of my posts the other day and said, when I grow up, I want to be like you. And I thought, hmm, it's obviously starting to work. So, I mean, I'm very much into food um, and outdoors. So I've been posting pictures of the food I eat, the problems I've got trying to find healthy food in Orlando. Oh. Um, and the comments where you might post a picture of something you're wearing or something you've done with the family get far more response than hard selling, as you say. Yes. So very rarely actually specifically advertise me. Can I showed a picture of everything I've got ready for my flight? That's provoked um, interest in comments. And I've gone back to each person separately and commented, thank you, and added a little comment because that then... Um, put, put, uh, the algorithms, it affects the algorithms and it's all about when you comment, go back in at separate times and then it'll come back up on the news feed. So it's, it's knowing the mechanics of how Facebook works. Absolutely. And you are really, I'm watching you. I'm loving what you're doing and your videos have been brilliant. And then YouTube. And um, I wanted to mention about the YouTube, you know, in order of how, how you post your videos, what I have noticed is if I go to, if I post to YouTube first and then upload from YouTube over to Facebook, it doesn't get nearly as many uh, viewings on Facebook. And the reason is that Facebook and Google are in, you know, they're, they're, they're sort of daggers at each other. I mean, they, you know, they're not on the same team. So if you go to YouTube first and then put it up, Facebook won't promote it. But if you put it to Facebook first, you'll get a tremendous amount. And then you can go back and, and do your YouTube. So it's not that you don't want to do YouTube, it's huge. 
but um, I, I do them separately and I don't, I don't go from YouTube to Facebook anymore because it just doesn't serve very well. But, um, and that was something Miguel taught us, you know, so, but you've been doing a super job and um, you're very candid on it. I really love that. And I think the Facebook Live is, is definitely a place for us to go, um, all of us to go. And I think it takes a little more courage because you are live, you know. And so, um, uh, let's see, we have uh, Kathleen. I'm interested in the results you are getting, she says. So it's, it can be, um, you know, this is a tricky one for all of us. Is sometimes it comes circuitously around. But I find that people do find us and then that oh you're are you still doing Nikon or I used to be in Nikon or I had a friend who had and I'm interested in and I need some more insoles and so forth and it comes like that so definitely we've had you know sales occur and sometimes new consultants have in or consultants that used to be in have come back I have a lovely lovely woman I'm working with who used to be in Nikon years ago and came back and decided to join my team and it was partly because she saw me a lot on Facebook um I'm going to try and just... While you read Barbara's comment, I just want to interact um, and say, um, I have had some results and benefits like Julie just said, but I've also had a lot of people just comment about my presence on Facebook. And it really gives you a social presence that adds a lot of credibility to who you are. And I think that's really important as well. And like Julie mentioned, not spending a lot of time going through Facebook, but you need to spend some time to go through those interactions and also to support other people. So it's about going in clearly, concisely, in and out, and doing your job. Yes, Barbara, exactly. And, and, and looking, you can just go in the search bar and look. I will often go in and go look for Randy Roll, for instance. I say, what is, what is Randy doing? Because that makes it very fast for me. Then I can like and share, like and share. And same with you, Barbara. So I'm not going to go through my whole homepage scrolling because any, you know, the, as you know, a lot of people are there that you, you may not know very well and it's sort of irrelevant. So you've got to seek out your people. And then the more you seek your people out, the more, of course, they'll show up on your feed. And, and Barbara, yes. So I just said yes to your, to your question there is, is upload to, you can upload to YouTube, great, but it, upload to Facebook separately. Upload to Facebook separately. Don't go YouTube and then Facebook because Facebook will not promote it. And honestly, I've tried it and it's incredible, the difference. And on Facebook, just so you know, like, just here's a tip. One, you, when, we, when we had the Siaga contest and I did the making something with Siaga and I put on this little video of making something with Siaga. I mean, I had over 2,000 views in like three days. I was like, oh my gosh, everybody wants to know a vegan recipe. Wow, who knew? right? It was fascinating. And I keep telling myself I should just do more because macrobiotics, it's, everything's vegan and it's easy to, to do recipe. I could do it so, so easily and incorporate Nikon's, you know, products in there. So um, there's so much we can do. The, the important thing is to really, really have a lot of fun with it. You, if you're having fun, they'll have fun. So I have a lot of fun with mine. I don't get super serious with them or anything. I have fun doing, you know, the, the, the workout stuff and you can tell and it's just a, a hoot. Or being out in nature, the beauty and the silence. That's another one I've been exploring is just silence with just the wind or just the ocean waves, just the river running, nothing else. And people love it. Why? Because we're all ADD because of social media. Here's the you know, total paradox of it. We're all becoming totally ADD. So we need quiet. We need stillness. We need silence. And so people love that when they just see a little video that's a minute long or less for Instagram, you know, you can, you can set it. It's, it's really important that it's under a minute because they won't uh, post otherwise. If it's a video, so make it 58 seconds, 59 seconds, and you're good to go. And then um, we can't really elaborate now because we've, we've done already a 30 minute call. So we, we have to finish, but there's a lot to this and we're going to have a lot more fun discovering it all together. And uh, I know we're going to see each other in Orlando. I'm very, very excited. It's going to be a, a very, very important event. It's a, it's a really watershed event that's happening right this weekend because of the changes that are coming August 1st. And uh, this is how we've made millions in the past. This is how we will make millions in the future. So um, be apprised that the next call we do will be about Orlando and about those changes. And uh, we'll have all of you that are there, we'll have you on. And um, you'll be telling us what you got out of it. And I will certainly be 
with you on that. So I'll see you down there. I'll be doing the Nikon Advantage and I'm excited about that. So um, everybody have a fabulous flight down. We'll see you there and uh, much love. And then on the next call, we'll be all together again. Right, again. Take care. Many blessings. Thank Bye you to all of you. Bye. Bye.